Hi everyone, in this session I'm showing you how to perform the calculation for cell seeding. This includes two example calculations of cell seeding scenarios. Altogether after this, you will be able to seed cells at any target amount. So first some basics for those that are new to cell culture and not sure what cell seeding means. The term refers to the procedure for plating cells for growth, which is typically done onto a dish as shown here. In cell culture, seeding is typically done in two instances. The first instance is when we first take out frozen cells from liquid nitrogen. In this instance, the seeding doesn't need any calculation because typically the entire contents in the frozen vial is seeded after thawing as shown here. The second instance where seeding is done is when we need to passage the cells, which is typically because they have become confluent that is overcrowded. As shown during passage, the cells are removed from the incubator, lifted and collected. I have another video detailing these steps for cell passage, but today the focus is on the cell seeding calculation. Once the cells are in suspension, we count them as shown in step two. Some of the cell suspension volume, step three, will then be diluted with fresh media, step four. The cell seeding calculation is done to know how much of each to make a mixture with a final volume shown in step five to passage the cells onto wells at a target concentration that is step six. The formula for calculating how much volume from the cell suspension and fresh media need to be combined to seed the cells, in other words, the dilution calculation is shown here as C1V1 equals C2V2 where C1 is the initial cell count, V1 is the volume from the initial cell suspension that needs to be diluted, C2 is the target cell seeding concentration, and V2 is the final volume needed for cell seeding. I annotated the schematic from the previous slide on cell passaging to show where each of these variables come in experimentally. So the volume of fresh media to add is therefore the volume needed from the initial cell suspension V1 subtracted from the final volume of cell suspension for seeding V2. Let's go through an example. In this example, we'd like to seed six wells of a six well plate with 250,000 cells per well. After removing the cells, lifting them and having them at hand in suspension, then we count the cell suspension to get C1, that is the initial cell count. The volume that we need to take from the initial cell suspension, V1, is unknown. We need to calculate C2, that is the target concentration for cell seeding. Although we know that the cells are to be seeded at 250,000 cells per well, this unit does not match the units of cells per milliliter as in C1. To calculate C2, we need to know the volume of a well in a six well plate. This information is provided by the dish manufacturer, and in our case is two milliliter per well. Now, from a simple multiplication of the number of cells per well with the well volume, we can calculate the concentration C2 in cells per milliliter. Similarly, to find the final volume of cell suspension to seed all six wells, V2, we multiply the volume per well with the number of wells and typically add an extra volume of about 10% of the total volume to account for pipetting errors, which is one milliliter extra in this case. In this way, we have all the other variables in the dilution formula, 
and can go ahead to calculate V1. Plugging in all the variables in the dilution formula and isolating V1, we get the volume 7 milliliter that we need to take from the initial cell suspension. Aside from knowing how much volume we need from the cell suspension, we also need to determine how much volume of fresh media we need to add to the cell suspension. Since we know that the final diluted cell suspension is 13 milliliter, we can find the volume of fresh media by subtracting the initial cell suspension volume of 7 milliliter from the final cell suspension volume of 13 milliliter, resulting in 6 milliliter of media. Therefore, to seed the cells at 250,000 cells per well, we need to prepare a cell suspension consisting of 6 milliliter of fresh media and 7 milliliter of the initial cell suspension. Then we can add 2 milliliter per well from this final suspension. This is the problem solved and the corresponding volumes depicted in the schematic. As shown, V1 here is 7 milliliter. The media volume was V2 minus V1, that is 6 milliliter. The final volume prepared for cell seeding is 13 milliliter. By adding 2 milliliter of this final suspension to each well, we are seeding them at 250,000 cells per well. Now for some troubleshooting tips. If the calculation results in a volume of initial cell suspension V1 that is larger than available experimentally, either reduce the cell seeding concentration C2 or the number of wells to seed. For example, we found here that V1 is 7 milliliter, meaning we need to dilute 7 milliliter of the cell suspension in media. But if we didn't have this much and only had 5 milliliter of the initial cell suspension, we can proceed by making some changes. One being changing the number of wells to seat from, for example, 6 wells to 4 wells, which reduces the final volume V2 in the calculation and ultimately a lower V1. Another approach is to reduce the cell seeding concentration, for example, from 250,000 cells per well to 200,000 cells per well, which will reduce C2 and ultimately V1. When there are not enough cells, you can also let the cells grow for a longer time before lifting them in suspension for passage. Here's a second example with a different number of cells to seed per well in nine wells of a different size, 24 well plate. The calculation is similar with some minor adjustments. So starting with the formula, we find the initial cell count by measuring the concentration of the initial cell suspension, C1. V1, of course, is the variable of interest that we don't know. As for the target concentration for cell seeding, that is C2, we need to convert 40,000 cells per well into the units of cells per milliliter. It's here that we need to be cognizant of the smaller size plate that has 24 wells and was reported by the manufacturer to require a volume of 500 microliters per well. Using this volume in the conversion, we get 80,000 cells per milliliter for C2. As to the final volume of cells needed, we can, in this case, multiply the well volume of 500 microliter with the number of wells and include an extra volume for pipetting errors. Putting it all together in the formula, we can calculate V1. In this way, we find that V1 is equal to 2.5 milliliters. Subtracting this volume from V2, the final cell seeding volume will inform us on the volume of fresh media needed for the dilution that is also 2.5 milliliters. 
Once the final cell suspension is prepared, then each of the nine wells of the 24 well plate can be seeded at 40,000 cells per well by adding 500 microliter into each well. The following is a summary slide for the cell seeding calculation lesson with a timeline for each section stamped in case you want to go back and review any of them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it facilitates your cell seeding. Please consider subscribing to my channel. It'll allow me to expand and leave any suggestions for topics you'd like me to cover. Thank you.